Hi, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd and we're planting corn. Actually, we already planted corn. We've had some really warm weather here, so we are ahead of schedule planting corn. Um, when you plant corn, which I think you should do because it's super fun and easy to do, you want to make sure you plant it in at least a block of three by three. We have a bed here that's four by four. We've got it full of popping corn, which is the easiest thing to grow in the world. Let it grow, let it dry, harvest it, pop it, eat it. Bingo. So the reason why you want to plant it in a block instead of a long row is because corn pollinates itself via the wind. And if you plant it, plant it in a long row, it's just going to blow over the fence. So make sure you plant it in a block so they'll talk to each other. Next, before you put anything in the ground, you want to well amend your soil with lots of compost and use organic vegetable fertilizer because corn's a heavy feeder and needs some food as it grows. You can start corn directly from seed in the beds or you can start them in seed flat. Dun, 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 dun. We actually started our seeds in flats and in this flat in particular. This is a deep flat from Bountiful Gardens, uh, the Grow Biointensive folks. They recommend starting things in seed flats instead of in the ground because you're using less water and nutrients and space to grow something and then you can transplant it out into the garden which is what we did because we had a cover crop growing here that wasn't ready to come out yet. So we started the seeds in the flats. They spent a few weeks uh, germinating and a few weeks growing, and then we transplanted them into the garden once the cover crop had come out. Save time, save space, all that stuff. Dun, 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 dun. If you do direct seed in the garden, you also want to plant them an inch deep, but you can plant them anywhere from 12 inches apart to 18 inches apart, depending on whether you're using biointensive methods or not. Once you plant your seeds, it's pretty straightforward. Water every day until they germinate, and then once they develop a good root system, you can start cutting back water to every other day or you know, every couple few days, depending on your soil type. More for sandy soil, less for clay. Um, if you have birds plucking your seedlings out, cover the whole thing with bird netting or um, floating row cover. And we did that actually when we started ours. We used floating row cover to cover the whole thing and that kept the birds from eating any of our seedlings. So now we've got plants that are about two feet tall and they're on their way. For more information about growing corn and eating corn and all kinds of other stuff, visit GardenNerd.com. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Happy gardening. Da 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 da